What the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh god, sounds like a horse receiving an enema. This has to be Sam Smith's final form, right? I'm so excited. Oh my god, oh my god. What is this behavior here? Just look at this for a second. This is a grown adult reacting to a stuffed animal like a four-year-old. Could you imagine showing this video to Christopher Columbus the day he found America? Hey, Chris, Joe from the future here. Uh, just a heads up. This is how it's going to end up here, buddy. You will be paving the way for this. You might want to leave this place to the natives. I want to withdraw from the solar system just from the sight of this. You know that? Oh my god! Ugh. When did society take this turn? <laughs> Whatever the next conflict is, we're definitely losing it. Welcome back, beautiful <laughs> and amazing human beings. My name is Zukadowski here of WeAreChange.org, and there's a lot of absolutely crazy and wild news to get into today as, of course, things are uh, going down, to say the least, in a very unfavorable way for the American people, its future, and, of course, Western civilization as crime is up and the larger potential of a bigger global conflict is only escalating from here as, of course, the situation is not like it was just a few moments ago and it has blossomed to some uh, grand proportions that are not advantageous for the people of this world. We're going to be talking about that, plus all the latest news here on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is done by the extremely talented Joey B. Tunes. He is someone that I have interviewed before. I think he's an awesome dude. If you haven't followed him, he definitely doesn't have enough followers, especially on Twitter. Check him out on YouTube as we played a small clip of his video. You could watch the full video on his YouTube channel, which, of course, we will be linking down in the description below. As his social commentary is uh, absolutely right on the money when it comes to talking about the effeminized, low testosterone, weak baby to soy boys out there that are leading to a crisis of civilization as of course the lack of good strong men out there ha has led a lot of bad men to be able to do whatever they want to with society as in san francisco today international news crews from the czech republic were just robbed in a very violent and aggressive way trying to cover an international summit happening in that city that of course recently cleaned up its act for Xi Jinping and uh, still, you know, has to deal with significant problems that have been spurred on by very bad politicians in that jurisdiction that have abused their positions of power and used it for their own personal benefit, essentially selling out to the local populations there that have to deal with rising crime in record numbers. As, of course, video after video highlights just the clear lawlessness that is unfolding all throughout the United States with a latest video coming from Memphis, Tennessee, of a store just literally being looted and robbed by countless numbers of individuals that walk into it and take whatever they want. This, as you can see, is helpless store clerk owner trying to address, trying to, to stop, trying to plead with the population there that, of course, was very violent and decided that, you know, whatever is yours is now mine under duress, under force, as, of course, the store clerk was left helpless with police officers that failed to respond in time to his in entire store, his entire business literally just being taken away from him by brazen criminals who, of course, feel like they could just get away with these crimes because guess what? They have been, as of course, a lot of district attorneys have been financed by a secretive billionaire that we can't even mention here on this particular broadcast, as of course, 
Scenes like this are just becoming everyday occurrences in modern day America where there is more and more social decay, which a lot of people point to as a deliberate effort to demoralize and destroy what little peace people had left. As of course, in major democratic areas, if you try to defend yourself or your property, you're the one that's going to jail, and many of these criminals usually walk free after committing their crimes, especially if the stereotypes are there fitting for a narrative that the corporate media and Hollywood try to jam down your throat. It's almost as if there's a kind of corporate conspiracy here, as even there's a California sheriff coming out and talking about how Target, a major corporation, is, quote, interfering with the crackdown on shoplifters, which he called, quote, unbelievable, detailing how specifically the giant retailer is preventing cops from cracking down on these thieves that are going into their stores and taking whatever they want for themselves, detailing many instances where, of course, the store prevented any kind of legal justice from being held here, detailing how the corporate chain didn't want any negative press. I'm actually more surprised about the sheriff actually trying to do something, as, of course, local jurisdictions and law enforcement throughout the United States have usually been following some outrageous procedures and protocols, as, of course, now in New York State, they have announced a special media surveillance effort to, quote, monitor hate speech online, which the state of New York will be going after their citizens for, just like they do in the United Kingdom, where, of course, criticism of the royal family could have you swatted and raided by police officers inside of your own home, and even in some extreme instances, detained for daring to criticize the government. That's already happening in the United Kingdom. As here in New York, the governor there, Miss Hockhole, is laying down the groundwork for similar efforts of targeted deliberate surveillance as crime in that state is going up and the government sees issues with speech that might offend someone. And in related news, we're going to talk about Ben Shapiro being offended in just a little bit, but before we do... We wanted to remind you that the multinational corporations, globalists and industrialists, are essentially able to skirt any rule of law as speaking out against them is becoming more and more dangerous. And that's why we created Luke Unfiltered.com, a way to support and grow this independent media effort by signing up for less than 50 cents a day. And you get a huge plethora of amazing offers of value, including an exclusive video report only available for members right after this video, as of course, we are going to be doing a deep dive on health, wealth, making sure you're making the right decisions for yourself as an individual, and, uh, you know, not getting targeted by the political thought police that soon will be going after you. Those conversations, strategies, self-help tips, and a lot more, all available for members of LukeUnfiltered.com. The link is down in the description below right now. Click it, sign up. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and I will see you there right after this broadcast. As we also just launched the bestpoliticalshow.com, an actual website, as now me and Clint Russell of the Liberty Lockdown podcast have been hosting some very interesting shows that you, as a member, get to call into. Today, we're going to be doing another live show that you could find out about on thebestpoliticalpodcast.com, as of course, members of LukeUnfiltered.com will be able to call in and have conversations with our guests. As uh, last night's show was uh, really awesome as well. And of course, this is going to be an ongoing effort as we are going to be growing, expanding, and doing these two hour plus long form conversations has been really fun. It's been really cool as we're doing something that we never did before and we're having a lot of success with it. So this, especially in the hard financial times that we're in, as of course, we've been in the red for a, a while now. We definitely need to try new things. The podcast has been doing really well and the members get to be a part of an exclusive chat that I, of course, will be watching during all of the shows that we are doing, where you could send me tips, you could send me news articles, you could actually be a part of the conversation all by being a member of LukeUnfiltered.com, where, of course, I will prioritize your interactions over everyone else. So if you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for right now? Sign up on LukeUnfiltered.com, and I will see you there with the special broadcast right after this video. As, of course, it's fair to say that uh, with our foreign policy, 
Things have definitely been becoming more complicated, as in Times Square now, an advertisement for ABC News has now literally pushed out any support for Ukraine in order to support Ukraine. Now, uh, I, again, a very kind of um, cold reality of, of American foreign policy that uh, definitely doesn't breed a lot of confidence for anyone allied with the United States, as, of course, we've seen through the situation in, in Afghanistan and, and in Syria and Libya and Somalia. We, I could keep going. That... Uh, the United States keeping their word isn't usually what the Americans do. As the CEO of JP Morgan and Chase just came out and said that he thinks Nikki Haley, a bloodthirsty neoconservative that wants to escalate global tensions and create more conflicts all over the world, is the only presidential candidate that could, quote, save the economy, probably by, of course, launching entire global conflicts that uh, will uh, upend everything. But, uh, you know, satisfy the military industrial complex. This says the situation inside of the Middle East has been escalating as Israel has been continuing their massive operation inside of Gaza as the Arab Muslim world has been becoming more united than ever as Arab and Islamic countries have been holding meetings holding conversations about what to do with this very tumultuous situation inside of the Middle East as with this conflict we have seen the utter deterioration of relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel, which in my opinion is very significant when it comes to understanding the global picture of what's happening here. This as more and more troops are amassing on the northern border of Israel, where a lot of analysts believe there soon will be another conflict between the IDF and Hezbollah. This as the Israelis have been making very strong aggressive statements against southern Lebanon and the militants in that specific region as gunfire was already exchanged between the two parties and there's conversations in israel about a quote preemptive strike against hezbollah which uh, essentially means a nice pr marketing way of saying starting the war first being offensive while claiming you were on the defense the whole time this as politico is reporting that there has been a leaked confidential memo from the dutch embassy in tel aviv detailing how quote israel is deliberately using disproportionate force in gaza in order to target civilian infrastructure to quote limit its own losses and showcase its military forces as some mainline Israeli politicians have even been describing how they want to make Gaza into a tent city. This as American forces in the region are still deliberately being targeted as the United States is launching more airstrikes and attacks on proxy forces inside of Syria that are not happy with the American presence in the region, as of course the Americans are literally siphoning off the oil with the Syrian government being like, can you please not? Can you please, can you please leave? And the U.S. government saying, nope, we're just going to stay here as American politicians are leaving U.S. soldiers on the ground there to be essentially used as target practice as no politician has strategically described the larger goal or initiative that U.S. troops are trying to achieve inside of Syria right now, other than being a target for provocation to potentially spark and expand this conflict, which, of course, individuals like Ben Shapiro of the Daily Wire extensively has been backing a lot of neoconservative policies, becoming one of the major proponents and supporters of Benjamin Netanyahu, an embattled politician in the region that clearly has the full support of Ben Shapiro that believes the United States should be doing everything in its power in aiding and assisting Israel. And there are a lot of conservative voices that do agree with that. And there's others that don't, including, of course, Candace Owens, who also works at the Daily Wire, whose behavior was called, quote, disgraceful by Ben Shapiro, who chastised and attacked her to a crowd at a private meeting that someone was recording as this video was just released of this entire incident. And then the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this is disgraceful. Now, what has been disgraceful about Candace Owens that essentially has been uh, calling for America first policies here? She she did, of course, 
addressed the situation, in my opinion, in a very reasonable way, condemning Hamas, condemning the life loss of innocence here, addressing it, not trying to cover it up here or lie about it or excuse it in some way, like, of course, Hassan Piker, that looks like he is trying to politically justify the life loss of innocence here, which is being heavily criticized right now. Now, of course, Candace Owens is, is not like Hassan Piker. And in my opinion here, Miss Owens has been making a lot of good arguments here, specifically bringing up how only now there's a lot of scrutiny against a lot of these college professors that are trying to excuse a lot of this nonsense when, of course, their bigotry, their racism, their hatred towards individuals because of the, where and how they were born has been prevalent for many years now, specifically against white people. But a lot of that behavior was usually excused or even promoted in some instances as now finally is be, it is being criticized. Why is it being criticized now and not before when it should have been criticized from the very beginning is a point that Candace Owens made that I believe is a fair argument to make here and worth considering. As Miss Owens also went after Nikki Haley for saying that America needs Israel. She's been promoting America first policies, telling America to stay out of this conflict, which of course, in my opinion, would be advantageous for the people of Israel. And she's been hypercritical of all the censorship efforts that have been going after individuals that have been canceled or censored because they dared to address a political expression and opinion that fully didn't agree with the policies of individuals like Benjamin Netanyahu. So uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, I, I, I have my own biases here, as of course, I've met Candace Owens, I've, I've gotten to know her a little bit, and in my opinion, her assessment on the latest issues in the Middle East are a lot more clearer, a lot less emotional, and more rational than, of course, Ben Shapiro's, who, of course, is emotionally invested in all of this and clearly is highlighting that his feelings really do care about his facts. As he has been very biased here, he has been very one-sided in this entire situation, and clearly a man that has been heavily influenced by his feelings and emotions rather than logic and critical thinking. Now, again, that's just my own assessment, my own biased perspective on this matter, just looking at it from everyone else's perspective. But what do you think? Whose team are you on? Press number one if you're on team Ben Shapiro. Press number two if you're on team Candace Owens. Let's see who wins down in the comment section below as, of course, this issue is probably going to be spurring on some very interesting conversations. Let's have them down in the description below. As of course, this issue is not going away anytime soon. This division within the Daily Wire is very, is very indicative of the division that's already happening in our society and having people attack each other in, in kind of disgraceful ways. As uh, let's just be honest here, it's not the best look to disparage your fellow employees at a public gathering and call them names when you know someone is clearly video recording you and then going to be releasing the video on the internet. So yeah, my opinion, you know what it is. Not a good look. What's yours? I got one more video coming your way on LukeUnfiltered.com, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively signing up. We got another podcast later on today, 7 p.m. Eastern. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively watching and supporting us, and this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org. 